Hey guys, time for another video game pickups, but this is more like video games and more, I guess, because I'm going to show other stuff that I picked up too um, in the last couple days. Now, if you guys don't want me to show other stuff that I picked up that's kind of like cool and collectible um, and like antiques and that kind of stuff, then you can just tell me and then, you know, whatever. I will stop doing it. But I thought you guys might want to see some of the cool stuff that I pick up on a daily basis, so here we go. Um, I picked up a Quaker Oats tin. And you might be thinking, well, that's stupid. Well, it kind of is, but it was 50 cents, and they go for about 15 bucks. Uh, this one's uh, one from 1982, and it's in really good shape. There's a few little scratches right around there, but other than that, good shape. So definitely worth picking that up. Uh, I picked up a Coke bottle. It was a buck. Um, it is from probably the 70s, and it's worth about $6, $5. So a buck ain't bad. Uh, I picked up a Cinderella... McDonald's glass, and this was a dollar ninety nine. They go for about eight to twelve bucks, give or take. Um, they're really collectible, and this one here is in absolutely mint condition. Like no one's ever used it. Uh, you can get ones like Star Wars ones, and they can be worth up to like fifty bucks a piece. So if you ever see things like that, and they're Star Wars, or even WWF wrestling ones uh, with like Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan and Macho Man and whatever, those guys are worth about eight to ten bucks a piece too. So you found them for a couple bucks. That's a good deal. Uh, I got an old A&W root beer mug. Um, you know from. 60s, give or take, and that was a buck ninety nine. That goes for about probably ten, twelve dollars. Uh, this is kind of an interesting find. I got a honey bee, sorry, Billy Bee honey. Um, this was actually came with honey at one point in time, and then they they gave you a glass with it. Billy Bee used to do this with um, small little like barware glasses too that would have like diamonds and spades and clubs and whatever on them, and they're pretty collectible. Um, it was ninety nine cents, and they go for about fifteen bucks. The last glass I got, I got a Magic Mountain's Colossus, the greatest roller coaster in the world mug. Um, if I recall correctly, Magic Mountain is in Six Flags. Um, I couldn't find that glass anywhere online, but I'm assuming it's worth about 15 bucks because other ones that were newer than that were going for about $15, so it's got to be worth 15 bucks. Uh, what else do I got here? I got two trays, <clears throat> like serving beer trays. This one just says Alley Antics. It's uh, it's an okay condition. It's by Banks, and I've seen that signature down there before for the artist. I don't know what it's from, though, um, off the top of my head. But anyways, that was $2, and that's an original from probably the 60s. Uh, this one here is a reproduction. It's Maple Lane, uh, you know, whatever. And it's 2 bucks too, but it's uh, probably worth $10, and the other one's probably worth $15, $20. Uh, what else did I get? I got the Starship Enterprise. Uh, this one's from 1992, Playmates version. It's missing the nacelles on the back, which kind of blows. With the nacelles, it's worth like 45 50 bucks. Without the nacelles, it's worth about 20 bucks. but I paid $5 for it. So I guess I'll probably get, you know, four times my money out of it. Um, I tested it out. It does work. It makes all the great Star Trek sounds that y'all love. Um, I'm going to try to make some room here. Um, I think I paid 5 bucks for this. This, I can open it up for you, because I haven't opened it yet. It is a very dusty uh, Minolta X370 camera. Um, in good working condition, they go for about 60 bucks. So for five, six dollars, that ain't bad. Um, yeah, so sweet. Um, what else did I get? Oh, let's get this one out of the way. I got a Corvette Stingray lamp. Um, it was six bucks. I looked online. They go for about hundred and seventy-five dollars, brand new. Used, they go for about seventy-five, eighty bucks. So for six dollars, it ain't bad. It's really dusty. I don't know if you can tell how dusty it is, but uh, yeah, it works fine. I yeah, just need to put a bulb in it, and we're good to go. So that wasn't bad for six dollars. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, um, I got a original Nintendo uh, by itself. That was seven bucks. Nothing came with it. And then in this one here, there is another Nintendo, and that one came with. Um, just the power supply, and that was nine dollars. But then I spent a dollar and got those AV RCA cables with it too. So, whatever, that's cool. And then I um, trying to get into this bag in front of me here. Is this the bag I want? No. Is this the bag I want? Yeah. So I went to the same store that that came with. I got that yesterday. That so I went to the same store today, and I found on the shelf for two ninety nine an NES controller with the RF adapter. So I got a complete Nintendo for like eleven dollars. So, that's all right. And then at uh, Goodwill, <clears throat> uh, I can get these out of here. 
I picked up um, Army Men Sarge's War for the GameCube. And I picked up Geist, and they're both two bucks a piece. Now Geist is not really worth anything, but hey, two bucks is my my opinion is any game's worth five bucks. Even like Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Like somebody comes to you and is like, Hey, I want a copy of Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, I'll give you five bucks. Like five bucks. So you're any any game less than five dollars as long as it's not like a sports game, people will pay for it. Now this might be the coolest thing I got today. Now hold on, I gotta take it out of the bag and put the camera down for half a sec. Now, I can't find anything about this online anywhere. I looked. But it is an Apollo 15 pen thing. And I don't know how to compare the size of it. It's probably, what, 10 inches long, 5 inches high. And it says on it, you're probably not going to be able to see what that. I'm going to see if I can get a white background so you can see it. It says, uh, first motor vehicle on the moon, July 30th, 1971 to August 2nd, 1971. Fiberglass materials continue to play an important role in man's exploration of space, from textiles and fire-safe suits to reinforcement applications in the lunar and command, command modules, and now in the lunar roving vehicle. And then it says, Owner, o Owens Corning Fiberglass. And then it's got the big ass um, Apollo 15 Scott Warden Irwin thing, um, and the little rover inside of there. Um, yeah, I can't find anything about this online. Um, I, I looked everywhere and I couldn't find anything. Uh, it's in fantastic condition. There's no chips or anything missing. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if I get better light for you. There's a little crack right there on the pen, and a little crack right there on the pen, and this is made in the USA on the pen. But other than that, nothing else. So that's cool. I paid two ninety nine for that, and I'm thinking it's probably worth anywhere from the probably the forty to one hundred and twenty five dollar range. So not bad for two ninety nine. Well, there's something on there. Oh, that's just a piece of smudge. Um, so yeah, that's what I picked up today. And uh, yeah, I think I'm, I might have picked up some other stuff. I just can't remember off the top of my head. And then I went for dinner and got takeaway and. Um, they forgot about me, so they gave me my meal for free, which was awesome. So I got like $25 in free food today. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and as always, take it easy.